Hey everyone, it's me, Excanadensis, and today we're gonna be doing like a vlog style video. Um, so I got all of these Rainbow High Dolls for $17 each on clearance. They showed back up at Walmart, so I got one of each of the ones that they had on clearance. They didn't have Poppy or Skylar, and then Jade wasn't on clearance. And today I want to try, well not try, I want to do a reroute. I, I think I'm gonna go with Ruby because I like her lip color better for what I'm planning. Um, and then I want to do an eye swap as well, so I want to put Sunny's eyes in Ruby's head. I want these green eyes. And I didn't want to like wait for hair to come in, and I have a bunch of hair from my old Monster High reroutes, so I think I'm gonna go with these three colors, because I had to pick- I had a bunch of this pink color, and then I wanted this green for something, and I think this is more than enough hair, so it should work out. And she's gonna have like a minty moment. It's really fun. I'm excited. Um, and then I really wanted to use Poppy for this reroute because I wanted her to have freckles. Um, but it's okay. I will add freckles with pencil if I feel the need to, but I'm excited. And then, um, the next one that I want to reroute is for sure Sunny because I really love her skin tone. And then this Sunny doll actually is better than my current Sunny doll because she d is not as sparkly. Okay. So let's get into it. crazy, y'all? Or is she way less shiny than the other one? Like, y'all are gonna laugh, but I had to come back to Walmart because I really like the ruby that is in this re-release better. So I want another one. I feel like a scalper right now, but listen, I want one to unbox and one to keep in the box. And then I also need another uh, Sunny because I'm rerouting one. So, oh, this one actually has good bangs. So this will be my unbox one. Oh, why am I like this? Oh my god, but they're, they're so cheap. They're out of violets, but I don't really want to reroute a violet to be honest because I don't like her lip color. So I'm back. <laughs> so I got this ruby. I'm gonna unbox whichever one's worse because I can fix her up obviously. And then another ruby. <laughs> I just fell in love with how she looks without the sparkly skin, you know? And then here's the sunny. Um, the sunny's perfect, so this is the one I'm gonna leave in the box. So. Yeah, I just noticed the <laughs> the fog. Okay, well, let's go do the reroute now. All right, I feel really bad, but we're gonna rip her head off. Look how beautiful she is. Okay, it's too late. I feel horrible. She's really pretty, but she's gonna be prettier when she has mint hair. All right, I'm gonna burn my hand. This is a fantastic time to do as I say and not as I do. Please don't use your hands to do this. Use tongs. I mean, we're all adults here, but like, don't burn your hands over something reckless like this. But anyway, you're just trying to wet the head near the neck joint because you're trying to soften this interior anatomy part of the head that holds it onto the anchor as well as the little neck hole. And it's easier to pop the head off if you can kind of squish it. I know that sounds weird. It's weird. But that's basically what you're doing, and then we're going, and then I'll show you how to do it. My hand, but she's so pretty, I feel so bad. Okay. Woo, her head got soft. Look at that. Okay. Ow, I'm still burning my hand through the towel. But see, and then you just want to be really careful. And so this is like the first part of the joint, and then the second part is the anchor, so you have to be real careful. And there we go. Actually came right off. So to do the reroute, I have to have her head off <laughs> and to get the old hair out. Well, you can do the reroute with the head on, but you want to put glue in after. So I don't know. It's up to you. Personal preference. I usually put the head back on for the reroute itself. Um, and then I have to go get Sunny because I'm going to do an eye swap. So, or I still haven't decided if I want to do the eye swap. We'll do it after. Bye. So now is the part where we get the old hair off. So basically don't use dull scissors like I was doing. This was a lot harder than it needed to be. And then I cut and actually go get real scissors. But basically you're going to cut as close to the hairline as possible and you're just going to go all around and cut all of them out so that it's just stubble. And then once it's stubble, you can rip out each individual one with tweezers, which I'll show you in a bit. And I'm going to cut this here. Here is the head free of all of its hair. It's beautiful hair. I'm just going to keep it. I don't know what for, but here she is with a poorly done buzz cut are at this step. I can't believe how good the molds are on these dolls. She looks amazing with this, uh, I don't even know what you would call this, like a buzz cut. Um, and we've run into the problem that I don't know where my tweezers are, 
forgot about that. And then also you have to paint the scalp the color of the hair that you're rooting. So that's going to be fun. See you in a minute. This is just a quick comparison of on the left, the new Sunny and on the right, the old Sunny. They actually have the same skin, but they do have different makeup and their lips are actually very different. I'm not really sure which one I prefer, but I just thought I'd show you just for preservation of knowledge, I guess. This is how we do the eye swap. So I'm just showing you this because it's part of the process for me. But basically you just heat up the heads, both of them. I'm just holding them in boiling water to do so. You can use a hair dryer if you want. I'm just nervous about like melting them that way, I guess. But it's totally up to you and your preference. But basically you just wet their heads. You only really need to worry about the area near their eyes, but if the whole head is squishy, it makes it a lot easier too. Um, so I'm gonna cut it here and go to the part where we're popping the eyes out. All right, we're back and we're gonna pop the eyes out. So basically I just get the head super squishy and work their way out. She, she's she been a little bit less squishy because I already did rubies by this point. So um, you just really just squeeze them out. It can be a little bit difficult because her head is really hot and the head also gets full of boiling water. So please be careful. I know you do have to use your hands, but if you can use like a, you know those gloves that come with hair tools? Those would be great. Those like straightening iron gloves. I'm just thinking aloud really. And there's one eye out and the other one, it's really easy to get them out. You just want to make sure they don't fly away from you because they can really, whew, <laughs> can really go far. And then the hard part is getting them in. So I'm getting the little green eyes into Ruby's head. And this is really just trial and error. You just want to keep trying it. My current strategy is to take the outside of the eye and put that one in first and then try to squeeze inward. Obviously I can't really show you that that well because this takes a lot of fine motor movements with your hands. But, um, you know, just getting the head wet over and over again, and then I'm going to cut to the success. Ta-da! They're in! Oh my goodness, look, it only took like five seconds. Isn't that amazing? I'm so quick and spectacular and wonderful. It's a little bit wonky, but I'm just going to move that. It ends up being fixed off camera, I think, but yeah, Word, good but times. I'm basically just picking all the hairs out. Normally I would go in from here, but it's like really tight squeeze so I can't really get in there so I'm just pulling really hard on this side they don't actually seem glued in because they just kind of pop out so this shouldn't take long um and she already has her green eyes she's looking good they're a little bit wonky I'm gonna fix that and then um I don't really want Sunny to have the purple eyes so she's just terrifying but that's okay <laughs> yeah I'm really loving her I think she looks really really good with the green eyes so I'm glad I went for Sorry, it but I painted her head it's really not that groundbreaking you know um, so I'm just gonna hold this till it dries. I used acrylic paint, mixed it to make pink because she's gonna have mostly pink on her head with green accents, but I think it'll be fine. Um, just had to cover the dark red. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just, you know, you know. Hey guys, so we're starting the reroute at 6 p.m. a lot later than I wanted to, but um, the derouting took a lot longer. And the drying, pa the paint took like an hour to dry and it's still not completely dry, but it'll work for all intents and purposes. But here she is ready to be rerouted. And then here's the hair that I'm using. I'm using this mint green, which I have a lot of, and then this pink, which I have. I thought I had more of the pink, but now that I get the green out, I have so much of it. But basically I'm gonna try this mixture and then if this isn't enough, I'll add more pink later. Um, and I'm not gonna mix them, like pre-mix them. In case I don't use all the hair, I don't want them pre-mixed. But um, I'm just gonna start rooting them into the head. We'll see. I'm excited. Um, and it looks like more than enough hair because this is Ruby's original head of hair and they look like about the same. Hers is curly here, obviously, so it's a little different. Uh, so yeah, let's get the show on the road. So this is the actual reroot process here. So basically what you do is you just grab little bits of hair. I loop them around my finger, but people have lots of different methods. And then I've cut a sewing needle and attached it to a eraser in a pencil. This doesn't really work. It breaks a lot and will bend and push into the eraser. It's a mess. So I need to actually just invest in an actual reroot tool. But for now, this is what I've got. <laughs> um, but And then you just push it into the head and hopefully... The hair stays in the head and the tool comes out. Sometimes you get a different combination of those, but yeah, just doing it over and over again. So this is, this would take forever if I recorded all of this, no matter how many times faster I showed it to you. This project took a total of like nine hours to reroute. Here she is so far. Um, unfortunately, I, I wanted to do the full front layer in pink because I thought 
like because I painted the scalp pink but it's making her look like uh, Bella and I don't want two similar looking dolls so I'm really beefing up how much green is under here um, I'm still trying to get pink intermixed because when I do curls I really want the the pink to show <laughs> Um, but here she is so far. I'm gonna say I'm halfway done because the majority of the plugs are actually in this general zone. Um, it's currently 9.30 p.m. So, yeah. But I'm really loving her. I think she's turning out amazing. She's so pretty. I'm excited. So, yeah. See y'all later. So this clip was recorded around 4 a.m. I'm almost done at this point. I'm just doing the back of the hair and this shows a little bit better my process. And a little strategy that I use that I've implemented later, you can see it on my finger that I have hooked up. I put tape around my fingers so that when I scoop the hair, I'm not picking at my skin because every time I do reroutes, I just eviscerate my fingers because I the reroute tool hooks into your skin every single time. It's a mess. But also by this point, I think the re or the main reason that this project took so long is because my reroute tools kept breaking and I couldn't find my extra sewing needles to make more reroute tools. And then I found a few extra sewing needles and I snapped them trying to make tools. It was a whole thing. It was not fun. So um, before you start a project like this, it should really go without saying. But for me, stuff like this is um, decided on a whim. So it never goes without saying for me. But make sure you have extra sewing needles, extra hair, just... You know, like a rainy day fund in case things go wrong. Can't hurt. Um, but yeah. Um, oh, I guess we moved on into this clip. This is my sewing needle graveyard I was just talking about. This is how many sewing needles I broke. Well, I actually broke close to eight of them, uh, but a lot of them like flew across the room or are currently in the doll's head. So, you know, fun. And look at those machine needles that I broke. I really, really used machine needles because I could not find other needles. I don't know where they are. Wee! It's 4.30 a.m. <laughs> but I did it. I did not think it was going to take this long. These girls have a lot, a lot of hair. Um, so here she is. I'm really happy with her. I think she looks amazing. I think she's looked amazing since like 10 p.m. There's just so much hair. So I obviously still need to cut. I still need to glue. I still need to boil. I still need to style. But... I'm going to bed. You're going to see this video a lot later than I intended, and I'm sorry for that, but um, she's looking good. The reason I'm up at 4 a.m., I would have just gone to sleep and, like, not been miserable tomorrow, is that um, I am really bad at doing a project over time. I have to do it all at once or I won't do it at all, so you've definitely probably caught on to that with the patterns of ways that I make videos. If you see a project that I do that is pretty ambitious, or it takes more than an hour, I'm gonna say, like a collection video or, sorry, I have tape on my hand because um, the way I was rerouting. Um, sorry, I'm so tired. Um, those wing making videos, anything crafty, I really have to be in it to do those videos. So if I have like an hour and that is all the time that I have, I can't do it. I, it has to be like a thing. Or I'm um, fixing doll hair too. I have to really get my head in it and do it all at once or it's not gonna get done. Um, I mean, it will get done, but it will take a lot longer than it should. So that's why I had to stay up all night. <laughs> but she's done and I won't remember that I had to stay up all night and how I feel right now when I'm staring at her tomorrow. Maybe not tomorrow when I'm staring at her next week, but it's worth it. So it's worth it. Um, so I'm gonna go to bed and I'm gonna put her somewhere safe so none of the hair pops out cause, oh my God, that was so much work. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. So I thought I had Fabri-Tac glue, but it seems like I don't. And I read somewhere that somebody uses hot glue successfully, which was my plan in the first place. Um, if I couldn't find my Fabri-Tac. So, ooh, is that it? No, that's puffy paint. Ugh. I have Fabri-Tac somewhere, I just, I'm not doing it. Um, so I'm gonna plug in my hot glue gun and figure this out. Hopefully we don't ruin everything. I'm scooting my chair, y'all. The tears, it's because I just coughed up doll hair. So that was fun. Let's go. 
This hot glue method actually worked really well and stood up to multiple boilings, so um, I'm gonna give it an A+. Unfortunately, I didn't stop here. I ended up doing spray adhesive, which completely ruined the reroute, and I had to start from scratch in a lot of areas. It really stunk, but basically you just stick the hot glue gun in and try to work it around. You can do it with the angle of insertion or like the angle you're holding the head at. So right now, because I was holding it with the bottom down, all of the hot glue would run to the bottom. Therefore, the bottom would get coated really nicely. Do you get what I'm saying? Unfortunately, it's kind of hard to aim hot glue, and that's the problem with this method, um, is that hot glue dries really fast and you can't really smear it around very well. I tried. Um, but this actually was really effective. Like, when I had to rip out some of the strands when my spray glue fiasco happened. They were actually really difficult to get out, similar to normal doll hair from the factory, so this was very, this was a good call. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to come back later when we boil the hair. All right, so here is my custom Rainbow High doll all done. Overall, I'm really happy with her. It's been over 24 hours since I started this project, so I'm just glad to be done, to be honest. I still need to do a little bit of trim, I'm noticing now. <laughs> but here's the hair. I really like the color mixture, honestly. Um, I was just kind of doing it randomly. I had a bit of a theory to it, like I put a lot of green in the um, center part and I put pink all along the hairline to disguise with the pink paint that I added and I mostly did green under as well so that you could see it from the front. I am really happy with her. I am a little bit bummed because I did not really think about how this pink is actually pretty close to Bella's, but I think the dolls stand out well um, against each other, especially because I went with these green eyes. Although Ruby does have different eyes than Bella, but they're still both purple. Um, so yeah, that's it for my custom Rainbow High doll. Let me know what you guys think, and if you'd like to see more videos like this. This was an extremely time-consuming and stressful pro pro project, but I did learn a lot and I had a lot of fun, and it is really, really satisfying to see your vision come through and the doll's hair is so soft and fun to play with and I did glue okay I have to tell you the story so in the clips that I've included you can see that I hot glued the hair in do that that was a great idea but then I decided the hot glue probably wasn't going to work for some reason I just didn't think it was gonna work so I grabbed spray glue oh my god don't use spray glue the spray glue basically seeped through the um, follicles I guess the holes and all over the hair and it caused these big disgusting like stuck together clumps of hair and I had to remove like almost a fourth of the hair plugs that I had put in and completely reroute them because they were just trashed it was horrible I really don't recommend doing that <laughs> but I brushed her hair a minute ago and it brushed out super well we only lost a few plugs which I'm going to replug once I have the tacky glue that I'm supposed to have for this project. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye. Oh, actually I kind of want to show you. This is kind of how I'm planning to have her hair, like a little bit flipped. I was gonna curl it, but my curling iron um, actually melts the hair on contact. I think it's too, too, of, too high of a temperature. I actually picked one that said it was low temperature on Amazon and stuff, but it literally melted the hair on contact. So it's not gonna work for me. But yeah, for real this time, bye!